Hi everyone, it's Natalie Buhaja here and today I'm putting together a training for you on how to generate leads via your blog using article marketing. Now the important thing to remember about article marketing is that there are hundreds of thousands of people every single day that are using the internet to search for information on how to make money online, how to generate leads, anything that's going to help them improve their home business. So this tutorial is going to help you to learn how to target the certain phrases that people are typing into Google and the idea is that you can put articles out as content onto the internet so that when people are searching for those specific terms that you've targeted your article comes up on the first page of Google and you will have these people that are searching land on your blog they can opt into your opt-in form on your blog and they become a lead and the great thing about article marketing is that once you've got your blog set up your domain name your hosting etc your initial cost of getting your blog set up article marketing is a free way to generate leads and that is so important um, to be able to know how to generate leads free um, you will probably be doing some paid advertising as well but it's it's definitely um, really important to know how to generate free leads as well so you've got um, a variety of methods of leads coming in so the first thing you want to know is what keywords people are typing typing into search engines every day um, and then the second thing you want to know is how many other websites are also targeting those e uh, those keywords and the idea is to find keywords which have a low number of other websites targeting them, ideally under 30,000 in the competition, um, but with a high number of people searching for that particular keyword on a daily basis. So the first thing to do is to go to Google and type in keyword tool. And right at the top will come up keyword tool Google AdWords. So click on that and it will come up with this free Google AdWords keyword tool which is basically going to give you that information that you're searching for. So think of um, a keyword that you particularly would like to target. Um, perhaps you're going to be writing an article about it. This is the point. So you might want to write an article about um, how to choose the right business opportunity. So people might be doing a search for best home based business opportunity. Um, the first time you open up this tool it will ask you to type in this uh, this googly word here just to check that you are actually real and not a, a computer. And then it will come up with this list of results. So as we can see, best home based business opportunity, this is the keyword that we're uh, initially searching for. It gets 100, uh, sorry, 1,900 searches per month globally, um, 110 locally. Uh, so it, it will be able to see exactly um, you know, wh where you're based. And this is, this is telling me that in the UK, uh, this this particular key term only gets 110 searches per month which isn't high but um, I run my business globally anyway so I'm interested in the global searches. Now um, I'm also going to tick on the left hand side here exact and phrase. Now um, just to explain what the difference between a broad keyword, an exact keyword and a phrase keyword is. Um, a broad keyword, if say for example we're typing best home based business opportunity, this one which has nothing Around, around the edges at either end is the broad results, which means that people are typing or doing a search for that phrase 1,900 times per month, but it's not particularly that phrase. It could be any version of that phrase. So it could be home-based business opportunity best or um, best opportunity home-based business. People could be searching for those words in any particular order for it to be a broad phrase match. Um, perhaps you won't get very accurate results when you're doing a broad search. 
um, a phrase search, which is this one at the bottom where it's got the inverted commas at either end, means that people are searching for this keyword within a phrase. So, um, say for example, somebody might be typing, what is the best home-based business opportunity? That might be their search in Google. Or it might be best home-based opportunity in the world. Or best home-based opportunity UK, for example. So it's not telling us um, how many people are typing this exact phrase, but but this phrase will be with this keyword will be within the phrase that they're typing in that order, and people are, are searching for that keyword within a wider phrase 720 times per month globally. The more uh, exact results you're going to get about your keyword are the exact match, which is where you have this square brackets around either end. This exact key f keyword is being searched. 590 times per month. Those words in that order, just that keyword. So that's that's really what I'm most interested in, but you can certainly target um, broad keywords, keyword matches and phrase. Um, I like to target exact because it, um, it, it makes it a lot more specific and it means that generally the competition is going to be a bit lower for you as well. So anyway, you've done this search um, and your results have come up. So let's have a little scroll down the page. So as you can see, we have a column here which says competition. Now this shows us how many other websites are out there targeting these words. And you can see the competition for whether it's the exact keyword, um, whether it's the broad or the phrase, and also how many global searches here. So what we're looking for are keywords that around a quarter to a third of this bar are full. And I think higher, there's going to be too many other websites out there competing for our keyword, it's just going to make it very difficult for our article to get to the first page of Google and that's what our aim is. So let's have a scroll down. Okay, so we have a keyword here which has got quite a low competition, which is make money online home based business. And it's showing that 4,400 people search well, there are 4,400 searches done for this particular keyword on a monthly basis. So what I always like to do, because I obviously this bar, I'm not entirely sure how, mi how much competition it is. It tells me medium competition, but we can get more exact than that. So let's click on that keyword there, which will open it up in, in a Google search results page. Now it's telling us here that there are 25.2 million websites targeting this keyword, but that's broad. So there are 25.2 million other websites which could be targeting make money online, could be home-based business, could be um, money, home-based business, whatever it may be. It could just be a mix of those words. So I'm interested in finding out exactly how many websites are targeting that exact phrase. So you put inverted commas around the end. Now it brings the results right down to 189,000 results. That's still a bit too much competition for us to go for. Remember what we're looking for are websites that have a maximum really of 30,000 or around that mark. So we will go back to the drawing board and have a look to see what else there is. I'll scroll down and everything else seems to have quite high competition. So what I'm then going to do is take this make money online home based business keyword that's come up with quite lowish results compared to in the millions and I'm going to do a search around that word and that is going to bring up these results for me so again we have a look down and look for any other ideas what, what um, Google are doing here in the keyword tool is they're bringing up any ideas that they deem to be relevant around that initial search that we've done. Okay, so we've got here um, online home-based business. It's still, that's showing quite a lot of competition, uh, but let's just check it out and see with our inverted commas. And it's showing 2.26 million, so that's no good for us. Okay, then what you what you find is that the more broad the terms, 
the harder it is to the higher the competition is going to be so what I like to do is to go for terms that are a bit more specific so let's do something like um, online home based business UK for example now that hopefully should reduce right so it's saying here there's no competition for those particular searches and no one searches for it so that's no good for us it doesn't matter if there's low competition but no one's searching for it we're not going to be found so let's see what else we've got down here okay home based working UK not a lot of searches per month but not a lot of competition so um, and it's showing that only 16 people per month actually type in that exact keyword not great but if the competition is low enough we perhaps could um, at least get a couple of visits per day if we're going to be getting right to the top of Google. So let's have a look. Home based working UK. Let's see it comes around that. Let's see what our competition's like. Okay, so 1,300 results. Now that's the kind of thing that I am looking for because even though only 16 people are looking for that exact term on a month, um, I might, I mean, it might be worth targeting, um, just sticking an article on with that. Very low results, uh, could get to the first page of Google quite easily with that term. Um, and it might get me a few visitors per month. Uh, not enough to make any huge bit of difference, but we're getting close to what we're looking for. Um, now let's have a look what else we've got here. Try make money online UK for example. That's coming up with a lot of competition, uh, but then a lot of searches. Let's see what else is down here. And you might want to try different countries if you if you're. Um, your business is global, let's try Pillar for example. Canada. I don't want to just target people in the UK, my business is UK, it is worldwide. Okay, make money online in Canada. High competition, decent amount of searches. Sometimes these competition bars can be wrong as well, so it might just be worth having a quick look as well if there's a term that you think that you can do something with. Ah, see, this is interesting. It's only got 28,000 views, which comes under the 30,000 that we want. So there we go. We found ourselves a keyword. Now, it's interesting that it's telling us that the competition's high. So like I say, it's definitely worth checking in Google to see what the competition actually is. 2,400 searches per month. Um, I'm happy with that. The exact amount is 1,000 for that exact phrase. Again, a good number. So I have found myself a keyword. So... Um, what I would then do is use that keyword name to write an article on my blog. So when you're writing the article on your blog, you would include that keyword, those four words in that order within the title somewhere. So my title on my blog, let's go to my blog and put in a new post, add a new post. And my title is going to be something like how to make money online Canada. So my four keywords are appearing in that right order um, and I've just put how to as a subject title for my blog. Then the idea here is to write a short article around 350 words break it up into four separate um, paragraphs. Each paragraph should contain that keyword once. Um, and there you go. You have a, a good t a keyword targeted article on your blog. There are lots of ways to get your article out onto the internet as well. Um, and there are lots of um, article 
distributing sites and services that you can use so I will cover that in another video um, on how to get your now heavily keyworded targeted article out onto the world so that when people search for that keyword you're going to start getting lots of leads through probably from Canada.